What's up with you? All right, man, I got a question from a guy the other day, and he asked me, who do I think cheats more, men or women? All right, I'm going to tell you what I think, and then I'm going to explain why. But I'm going to say women, and they better at it. Now, let me explain. All right, guys, understand this. Women, and yeah, I'm going to say all on this one. So, so the old police, bring your stinking ass on. I want to smoke, damn it. But, but listen, all women think that men are easy. And what I mean is they think that they can call or text 20 guys and ask them if they want to smash tonight. And all 20 of them are going to say yes. And it don't matter if he's in a committed relationship with a woman and they got a house, two cars, two kids, two dogs, and a damn turtle named Gus. Or even if he's married with all the things I just talked about. Women are so delusional that they really feel like he's going to be willing to throw it all away, risk it all for some new ass. But... But here's the thing. Damn. Already, here's the thing. A minute and 32 seconds in. But, uh, shit. Anyway, here's the thing. I disagree with the notion that we that easy. And through my personal experience, uh, say for the past 20 years of me talking to men and women, mostly men, I can tell you for a fact that men are more loyal than women. See, understand this. If a guy has busted his ass for years to put himself in a position financially to take care of a wife and kids, that was something that he always wanted since he was a kid. Since he was a little young pup with his tail standing straight up. He wanted to be in a traditional marriage. He saw his parents, grandparents, older siblings married and it worked out for him. So being a man that sleeps with a lot of women is just not that appealing to him. Believe it or not, guys, every man don't want that. That's not every man's dream. Some men truly want a wife, kids, a house. You know, just a normal life to where he goes to work and come home to his family every day. That's enough for some men. See, some men actually value and take pride in being a family man and will not throw it all away for a piece of ass. Now, let me say this. Uh, we can, as men, just have meaningless sex with women and continue to be a loving husband and a good father to the kids. You know, a good family man. We can compartmentalize and that means to divide into separate and isolated categories. And so we can just view sex with another woman as sex with another woman. Nothing more, nothing less. We, we can do that and not let it affect our home. We can separate our feelings from that activity so we won't get attached to the side chick. See, in our minds, the side chick is just a side chick. And she's going to stay over there forever on the left side as the side chick. And we're going to keep the family on the right side. So there's no emotional attachment to the side chick. Now, on the other hand, with women, I truly believe that they can do it too. But, but, and it's, and it's a big but. They can only do it for a certain amount of time, a few months. Any man that has ever had a side chick will tell you that the first couple of months, everything was cool. She accepted her position. She accepted your situation you had at home. She was actually honoring the agreement that y'all had. And then a few months down the road, you still feel the same, but she started catching feelings and started wanting more. 
all of a sudden, she want to talk more. All of a sudden, she got a problem with you returning her calls and texts two and three hours later. Now, in the beginning, she didn't have a problem with it. Now, all of a sudden, she started asking questions like, where is this going? What are we? And y'all know what I'm talking about. And see, as men, we know as soon as those questions start coming, it's downhill from there. So we got to kind of start distancing ourselves because we know we got to let her go because she ain't going to stop. She ain't going to just start catching feelings and want to really be with you. And then all of a sudden cut it off and want to just be a side chick again. No, 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 pimping. You got the game wrong. It, it don't work like that. But getting back to the original question about loyalty, I truly believe that women cheat more because it's more exciting for them than it is to us. To us, it requires effort. That shit requires a lot of work because you got to lie. You got to hide this. You got to hide that. You got to remember the lies that you told two weeks ago, a month ago. And see, y'all know most men bad at lying. We forget shit. That's why we end up getting caught more because we're sloppy. But with women, oh, they are very skilled cheaters, very precise. They cover their tracks. They got the game on lock. They got alibis lined up. They got family members in on it. Oh, oh, oh yeah. They sisters and cousins. All of them in on that shit. And see, we'll never catch them because we only do a little bit of research. And so women know they can tell us any damn thing and we'll just be like, okay, that checks out. Her sister said she was with her last night. She said she had too much to drink at the club and came to her house and fell asleep on the couch. I believe her. Her sister wouldn't lie to me. <sighs> boy, boy, boy. But anyway, back to it, Pimpin. Like I said earlier, I feel like cheating is more exciting for women because they are bored at home. They get bored easily. Now, I'm not saying that the man isn't doing what he's supposed to do. No, he's doing his job. He's paying bills. He's getting our hair done, our nails done, taking care of the kids, going to work every day. He's doing everything right. He's providing stability and comfort. And well, you're probably saying, well, infamous, if he's doing all that, why would she cheat? She got everything at home that women say they want. See, guys, you have to understand that in doing that, we become family men. We lose that sexual charisma that we once had when we were single. Now we put all our focus on making sure her and the kids are happy. And so anything she wants, she gets. She runs the relationship. And so from her perspective, there's no challenge at home. There's no resistance at home. He's whipped. And hell, it ain't nothing to be ashamed of. It happens to the best of us. It happened to me in one of my previous relationships. And see, when there's no chaos or turmoil at home, everything is just nice and steady. And they meet a man that they perceive as alpha, a man that's actually masculine, strong, attractive to them. The opposite of you. Oh, shit. Damn, that was pretty cool. But I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't mean it like that. But he's the opposite of you in her eyes. He actually turns her on. He has that sexual charisma. And she sees that other women want him. And that causes her to want him more. It's a competition. Women want to win. And see, it's funny because I talk to a lot of guys that are in relationships and they tell me that their biggest fear is their woman cheating on them. And it don't matter how good he is to her. The house, the two kids, the two cars, the two dogs, and the damn turtle named Gus. Can't forget about Gus. None of it matters. When they come across a man that they're infatuated with that's exciting to them, they're going to cheat. That's just what it is. All right, man, I'm about to get on up off this thing. Later.